Hey everybody, Palumbo here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to never miss an important update on one of your Google Sheets by using the on edit function to trigger an email to alert you to certain changes. So what we have here for our example is a very simple project tracker. Um, we have the project name, the project manager, the due date, and the status. And what we want is if a project becomes delayed, we want to be notified immediately with an email. So what we're going to do is we are going to first open up our app script and we're going to get rid of this function and we're going to use a special one uh, called on edit and it takes one parameter, which is essentially the event. And I'm going to start off just by kind of putting in my normal variables here to grab a hold to the spreadsheet. So we're going to do spreadsheet get active spreadsheet get active sheet okay and then we are going to start doing some event variables uh, and this is what um, these are going to be the ranges that are going to be dependent on a certain event happening and in this case when a cell is edited so we're going to do let range equal E dot range we're gonna do let robes let row equal e dot range dot get row and we're gonna do column e dot range get column all right and then we also need to get the cell value so we're going to say let cell value equal sheet dot get active cell dot get value. Now, anytime I'm working with a uh, trigger based script, I always like just to make sure that it's working. Um, and for better or for worse, sometimes it just takes a little bit of finagling in order to get it to work. Um, so the way that I typically like to do it is I'll start off with, let's just put it in an if statement here, that if column equals four curly bracket, then I'm going to use browser, oops, browser message box, and I'm just going to put it works. So this way we can make sure that um, the on edit is in fact triggering uh, this function here. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, I am going to run it and it might ask me for permissions, which is very common the first time you run a script. Okay. Now notice we got an error. It's the type error cannot read property range of undefined. This is, this is completely normal. Keep, uh, keep in mind that we are talking about the range of, of an event. And even though we ran this, no event has actually happened. So um, because of that, we are, anytime you save and run this script from the editor, you're almost always going, or you will always get this error. Um, where it is going to happen is whether or not it is um, what the event is here. So this is my fourth column, which is column D. Um, which is the one that my if statement is looking at. And if we get a change here, we get the pop-up box, it works. So now we know, in fact, that um, the on edit is definitely working. And even when, I, even when I deleted that cell, it's still an edit, so it fired again. So now we, wanna, we don't want it to fire for every single edit. We only want it to fire for a very specific edit. So we are going to say that if um, column equals four, and which is two ampersands uh, cell value equals delayed that's the only time that we actually want this to fire so let's go back over here so let's go and say this is in progress oh you know what i completely forgot to save and run the script so let's go back over here so let's change this to completed nothing happens not started, in progress, nothing happens, but we go to delayed, 
And that's exactly what triggers the script now. So we have the basic framework in place, which is going to trigger something to happen if somebody marks the status column uh, with delayed. So what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to send us an email. Um, and we need to make sure that that email contains relevant information. So before I even do the email component, I am going to go grab a little bit more information uh, from the spreadsheet. And for example, I want a variable called project name, and I'm going to make that equal to sheet get range. And I want it the row in column one and I want to get the value. So what's happening here is normally when you define a range, you give it the row and the column, and it's the intersection of those two um, that give you the cell. So notice that I put row here, which is actually defined up on line six, and it's the row of the event range. So wherever the event is happening, um, that is the row number. So in this case, um, if I were to go change the uh, status on you know, row two, um, then this range would be two comma one for second row, one column. So this is what's going to give us the project name. Uh, the other thing I want is I want the user. So I'm going to create a variable um, called let user, and I'm going to use session this time. Session get active user, and I'm going to say get email. And this will tell us who actually made that change. Um, which is going to be uh, kind of important. Uh, and then the last thing that we want to do is we want to get the cell location. And um, I'm going to do this using A1 notation. And if you're not familiar, A1 notation is like this cell is A1. This is your A1 notation. Um, so we can actually go grab that using app script. So I'm going to say let cell location equal sheet dot uh, get active cell dot get a1 notation so wherever the active cell is um, essentially cell location is going to be passed um, whatever that a1 notation is so if we were uh, the active cell were a1 then cell location is going to hold the value of a1 and i'll show you why we're doing this here in just a second um, I think that's everything that we need to define. I'm also going to go ahead and actually grab something up here. I'm going to get the URL of the spreadsheet. I'm just going to actually, I will just say let URL equal that. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Um, so let's go ahead and comment this out. And here's how we're going to send ourselves the email. So we're going to use the mail app. So it's going to be mail app dot send email and send email can take a number of different parameters. If you actually go look in the app script documentation, it can take anywhere between one to five parameters. In this case, we're going to be using three parameters. We're going to be using who it is being sent to, which is myself, a subject line and the body. Um, you don't have to organize your parameters um, like this, which is the way that I'm doing it here, which is indented. Um, this is just to help me um, keep everything straight. So first thing is who it's going to be emailed to, which is going to be me. Then we want the subject line. And the subject line, I'm actually going to say user plus um, set project name to delayed. All right, then we go to our next parameter, which is the actual body of the email. Um, and for the body of the email, what I actually want is I want a link to the spreadsheet and a link to the actual cell. Uh, let me get rid of this helper box, a link to the cell uh, that was um, set to delayed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put uh, URL plus and the way that we link to a cell, so our, our URL is up here. It ends with edit hash GID equals zero. So we're going to have that. Then we're going to add, uh, where is my end range equal. And we're going to put 
cell location. And that ends that. Okay, so I think we have pretty much everything that we need, but there's one important step that we absolutely cannot forget because you will be um, troubleshooting a script like this for hours um, if you forget to do this, which I tend to do often um, before I remember. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it really quick. Because this is a trigger that we're setting, we actually have to go into this part um, of the app script editor, this triggers um, view here, and we have to add a trigger. You add a trigger down here. So choose which function to run on. We're gonna run on on edit, which is the name of the function that we're writing. Um, which deployment should run. We're gonna leave that as head. Select the event source. So here, I'm gonna leave it as from spreadsheet, but you can also put it time-driven and from calendar. So let's just say, for example, if you wanted to just get an email update of changes to a spreadsheet once a day or at a specific time or at the end of the week or end of the month, you could very easily do that with one of these triggers. But for this one, I'm gonna say the event source is from spreadsheet. And the select event type is going to be on edit. And the last thing I'm gonna say here is for failure notification warnings, notify me immediately. So if something goes wrong, um, don't wait to send me a digest, just let me know right there and then. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Once again, have to give it permissions, which I will do. All right, so that trigger is now saved. So let's go back to our code. We can run it, review permissions again allow and this time is because we're using the mail app so we have to give the mail app permissions okay so at this point in time we should be able to um, update one of the cell values here and actually receive an email so what i'm going to do is let me go ahead and call up my mail app okay i'm going to put this off to the side over here and so let's say, for example, the roadmap integration being run by Jack Skilling is now delayed. So we are going to mark that as delayed. And hopefully in a moment here, we should receive an email. And there it is. So we can click on it. It is from me. It says P at Lumbo set roadmap integration to delayed. And it gives me a link directly to the document, which let me go ahead and copy this link. Let me drop it in here. And it takes me right to D4, um, just so I know exactly where it's been delayed. Uh, let's just try it one more time. So let's go ahead and say this one is back into in progress now. Nothing should happen. Uh, let's say the Tableau integration has hit a snag. That one is now delayed as well. So we're gonna move this to delayed. We're gonna wait just a moment. It usually happens pretty quickly. And here we go. Our subject line says p.lumbo.me set Tableau integration to delayed. And I get the link to the spreadsheet as well. So with a simple app script here, that roughly 23, 24 lines of app script, you will now be notified anytime an important change occurs in any of your sheets with the simple use of the on edit function. I hope this was extremely helpful. Uh, I hope this gives you a ton of ideas on how to automate your workflow and make sure that you're always aware of what's going on with all of your projects, all of your work. Um, if this was helpful, obviously I really appreciate a like or a subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, if you think there's a better way to do this, um, please drop a comment below. Uh, as always, thank you for your time and have a great day.